I live by one simple rule. Once I stop growing in any situation, I owe it to myself to make a change. A change in the environment and inputs to challenge myself and stimulate new growth. After many years of working at a great job, I hit a growth ceiling, so I made the difficult decision to quit. Where I'll end up, I'm unsure of, but for now, I'm making space to find out. Hello, I'm Matthew Encina, and in this video, I'll share a day in my life after quitting my job. Before I begin, I wanna thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. So now that I have all this free time, what do I do with it? My mornings start very slow. I usually wake up around 7.30 a.m. No alarms, my body just wakes up when it's ready. Or when my dog Chewy tells me it's time. I make some coffee and sit down to think. The mornings I've found are the best times to reflect, write, and plan. I've recently picked up my five minute journal again to help me set the right intentions for the day. To keep track of my daily to-do list, I started using the analog system by Ugmunk, a nice upgrade from my post-it note system. Mornings are so precious to me. It's quiet and it's time for me to sit with my own thoughts before I take action for the day. It's also a chance to spend quality time with my wife, Belinda, before she heads into work. Around 11 a.m., I move into doing something active. This time is when my body is the most energetic. I try to get a short workout in, anywhere from five to 30 minutes, just to get the blood flowing. Since I don't have a job anymore, I dedicate this part of the day to creating content for this channel and working on a few home projects. Last year, I really got into home improvement and DIY projects, so I've been using my time lately to design, document, and build things that improve my environment. One reason I really enjoy this type of work is that it takes me away from my computer and the busyness of being online. The process for building furniture is slow, methodical, and is a welcome change of pace compared to what I was doing in my previous job. Being disconnected for a few hours in the day helps me slow down, focus on the task at hand, and reconnect with my own thoughts. After a few hours of work, I eat my first meal late in the day. Most of the time I order delivery, but occasionally I like to cook. Something simple, nutritious, and filling. After lunch, I continue to work on my projects until my energy is spent. Then I move on to activities that are a little more passive. These are times when I watch content to study, listen to interesting conversations on Clubhouse, or spend a little time learning something new. That brings me to the sponsor of today's video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. You can take classes on graphic design, filmmaking, and interior design. Recently, I started taking Nathaniel Drew's class, Documenting Your Life, Four Methods to Live More Intentionally. In it, he shares different methods to become an observer of your own life, so you can create meaningful memories through intentional documentation. The best part about Skillshare is that it's a focused learning environment. No ads, no distractions, and it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of premium membership so you can explore your creativity. Thanks Skillshare and to you for your continued support. As day turns into night, my ability to focus and energy levels come down. I switch gears and do things that help me unwind. Lately, I've been playing a lot of video games, Destiny 2, Call of Duty, and Jurassic World Evolution. I also like to use this time to play my guitar. I found it so beneficial to have a creative hobby that has nothing to do with my regular work. Something that brings me joy through creative expression without the pressure of any expectations. For dinner, I like to wait for my wife to get home so we can eat together. Normally, we're both exhausted, so we usually order in. Thai food is one of our favorites to eat. We catch up over dinner and retire to the couch to watch TV until we get tired. Then I head to bed 
and recharge for the next day. And that's a typical day in my life. Each day is a little different, but I try to make the most of it by taking things slow, listening to my body, and enjoying the time I have. Some days I spend catching up with old friends, and others I take care of things that have been in the queue for a long time, like selling Belinda's shoe collection. I don't know what's next for me in terms of a career, but for now, I'll be here making content and figuring out my path forward one day at a time. If you have any questions, leave me a comment and I'll do my best to answer them. And if you're interested in anything you've seen in the video, I'll leave links to what I can in the description below. With that out of the way, it's time to start a new day.